everyone, and welcome back to our Member Monday Spotlight that we do every Monday morning, and today is December 4th, and we have the opportunity in the LEAP community to talk to Lori Osborne today. She is our, I would call her our resident website expert. She has built so many websites for the LEAP community members. And today, I really want to spotlight Lori and the importance of being seen with exceptional website and a solid SEO. I have literally built my reputation in Google on a solid SEO footprint, which is several things. So Lori, welcome to today's spotlight. I'm so honored to spotlight you. Oh, well, thank you. I love being here. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, in the Leap community, we do things like a podcast interview. And I always tell the individuals, when you do a podcast interview, what we do is we give you a website that, or we give you an email that kind of outlines, okay, here's what you want to say when you post it on social media, which is digital footprint number one. Here's what you want to do when you upload it to your YouTube page, digital footprint number two. Here's what you want to do to upload it to your website on your blog section, right? Digital footprint number three. Uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to promote you on our podcast website, which is going to be number four. And then we're going to share it on our blog, which is digital footprint number five. As an example, that's five digital footprints in one interview. That is so amazing to think that I can get that many digital footprints, but most people don't even know how to do it what to do, what, how to even find out what their business profile looks like. So I think we should dive into that, Lori, because you're all about, you know, the websites or the hub of your business, why it's so important. So I'll, let's, let's talk to you, the expert, and let's hear it from you first and tell them a little bit about the company that you own. Okay, awesome. So I am the founder and chief solution architect for BizBolster Web Solutions. And we really focus on building those websites that help you be seen, help build the know, like, and trust with people that come to your website. And then the SEO, the search engine optimization, is so the website's actually found. Because just building a website, and gosh, I get this all the time. You built my website, now what? Like nobody's coming, nobody's doing anything. Well, it doesn't just magically show up in front of people. There are 200 million active websites out there. So SEO is what we do to get it in front of people so that it can be seen so that you can start building that relationship with your prospects, which is key. And, and what Colleen was just talking about with podcast interviews, your website is the hub, but you've got to do all these other things to get out there to tell people about you, to then draw them to their website. So just like this, what I'm doing right now, the whole purpose of this is to tell you about my business and then hopefully you'll come to my website, get to know me a little better and we can, can you know do that relationship building going on down the road. Yeah, I love that. And it really is about building the relationships. I think so many people are starving for that connection these days. And when they have a relationship with someone, they're most often more willing to buy and become a repeat customer. So that's a business nugget from today that, you know, we're discussing. So talk about the talk about Google and business Google and all of the analytics and everything that happens in the background. Um, um, that may, maybe a lot of people haven't even set up a Google yeah. business page. So let's talk about that. Okay. So Google business profile, it used to be Google my business and it is what ties you to Google maps. And my dog is barking in the background and I apologize. I'm going to have to shut my door. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> That is okay, Lori. All of us working from home with solopreneurs, so we're very familiar with background noises, whether it be trash cans being picked up, landscapers, cats jumping on your table, dogs barking. Right. We've had it all happen here on the show, but that's the funniest part, right? It's the best. So, okay, talk about Google My Business. That's what we were just going yes, to Google, Yes, Google Business Profile. So it is the connection for your business to Google Maps. So if you're a local business or if you do any 
business locally, even if you're national like we are, but you also do local business, Google Business Profile is what puts you on Google Maps. And it's the quickest way to get to the top in local searches. Um, it also is kind of like a little micro site. So you can do so much with it to get attention and be seen when people are doing searches. So it really is part of the bigger picture of SEO, but yeah. it's the most critical piece, especially for local focused businesses or businesses that do local and national like someone like us. Yeah, absolutely. Google my business page is the number one thing. Um, and we'll definitely make sure we put that resource in the comment section um, on all of our you know, pages that we're running this live on for all of you to see. So talk about the website there. there I meet so many women and men that I'll say, so what is your website? And they're like, oh, I haven't updated my website in a while. I, I'm, I'm in the middle of reconstructing my website. So don't really pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to this. How many times do you hear that, Lori? When people oh are my talking gosh. To oh, so, so often. Oh, I don't even want you to see it. I'm so embarrassed. Um, or, you know, I also get, I go to the website and it is not even close to a reflection of the person that I'm talking to. Um, the best example I can give is my very first client was a realtor in Denver who um, had this amazing personality and the Scottish accent and just was on fire, like just so full of energy. And I went to his website and it was just ugly and didn't represent anything about his personality. And it just like, how do you, how do you let someone build that <laughs> you know, when it doesn't even represent you? And that is so, so key. I mean, your, your website should be an extension of you and your business and your brand, which can you know be anything from colors and fonts to the personality that comes through. So, you know, we want you to have a website that you are loving, that you were telling everybody, oh my gosh, come see my website because I'm so excited about it. How and important is way. brand, like consistency of brand? Do you want to talk about that? I I feel like it is critical. Um, you know, even you'll, you'll notice my glasses. My glasses are part of my brand. You'll notice all the color behind me. I have a very colorful logo and a very colorful, colorful brand. I want to carry that across everything I do. My logo and my background is consistent on every social media piece, everything I print, everything I provide. And that's what you want because you want to be recognized and seen. And that consistency helps build that brand. And it helps to get to know you as a person. I mean, I just had someone call me the other day and he goes, I love your color. I got which just blew my mind. He's like, I love the color. I want that kind of energy in my website. Yeah. So you get obviously to be known it for it, right? It's something you yeah. get to be known for. And my, my website has a lot of the hot pink, a lot of the teals. You can see the background here is teal. The member Monday spotlights in hot pink. When every woman walked into the door at the Empower and Elevate conference on November 17th, every single one of them, there was pink, hot pink and teal everywhere. We had balloon arches made. We had big light lit up words. The All of the binders that were sitting on their table Tables were hot pink. So this is part of the brand, right? You want to be consistent so people know who they're affiliated with when they're doing work with you and in every wow. single thing that you do. So that I'm so glad you talked about brand. Now, when we're talking about a solid website, um, what is the easiest way for someone to start? They've got one and they're like, I'm so tired of rebuilding websites or I don't want to build another website. What, what are really some of the options that, that you would share with someone? Should they do a review of their website to even see if it's getting the reach that they thought? I mean, you have a, you have a review of something. For I that. do. Yeah. I do have a website review and that is absolutely the perfect thing to do. Um, because 
oftentimes it doesn't have to start completely over. Other times it might make perfect sense. Um, I build on an incredibly easy platform. So I take a lot of people off WordPress because WordPress is difficult for a lot of people. My platform is easy to maintain, easy to update. So sometimes it makes sense, if, especially if your complaint is I can't even update my own website or I can't even get into it or I have to pay someone $250 to make one change, then we probably want to get you off that platform. But let's look at it because it might be, you know, you might just not like what you see and a few swap outs and refreshes could could make it everything that you ever wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And that's definitely what you are an expert at. And you have a gift for everybody. Do you want to tell them what that gift is that we're dropping in the comment section today? Sure. Sure. If you go out to um, that link, you will get a free download for um, a, gu a guidebook, basically for um, guides around having the best website and SEO. You can also do a website quiz there to just get an idea of, is my website doing all that I think it should do, or maybe I don't know it should do, so you can get an idea of how, is your website up to par, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. then it's not on the page, but I want to tell everyone, if you reference this interview, I oh. will take $50 off any service that I offer. So that could be the website review. That could be setting up and optimizing your Google business profile. Um, it, it could be a number of different things. I offer some SEO services as well. Um, and anything off your website, if you wanted to do a website, but you know, check that out. And if you reference um, this interview, I'll give you that discount. Yeah. And if you don't know how to set up a Google My Business, then contact Lori directly. You can contact her through LinkedIn on her pages, through Facebook. You can DM her. You can leave a message on YouTube. Any of the channels that we're currently blasting this out live, mention this spotlight and just receive a $50 off. I mean, that's that's awesome. That's like an amazing Christmas gift, actually. <laughs> that's a holiday that's gift. That's what I was thinking. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> a holiday gift. And it's simple. You just go to bizbolster.com forward slash gift for you. And Lori, you've done some amazing things with a lot of individuals where they really just didn't know where to start. And you love to be able to take that technology piece of the craziness of a website. I want to I want to do an event. Now what has to happen? There's a web page that has to be built, a registration page. Then after that, there needs to be a thank you and a confirmation page, right? For someone like me, who's running all these events and has all these ideas and creating new things, what happens is I need teams on the back end to be able to, to execute those. And that's what you do. You execute that vision for that entrepreneur that has all these items. The other thing is books. We didn't even talk about books, but many authors out there are writing books. They're, they're getting, you know, new books. There's a lot of books that have come out this year, but yet they're not, they're now like one and done. So they do the book, they yeah. did a rollout of the book, and then they walk away and never really do anything with the book again. What opportunities are they missing from not having wow. that page on their website? Absolutely. I mean, your book is another way to be seen. I mean, that I've been in these two books back here. I'm on a third one right now, but it, you know, okay, it's seen on this, but beyond that, if you don't see this interview, how is that doing you any good? So there's there's several things. One thing I want to tell you, if you sell on Amazon or if your book's on Amazon, make sure you set up an Amazon page because that's another place where you can be seen when someone's doing searches and if someone comes to that book, they're going to see your name and your profile. But building a landing page for that book then we can draw even more attention to it. If you have multiple books, we can build a book page. We can even build a site. If you're an author and you want to just focus on your books, we can do that as well. And it's all, it's, it's about being seen, getting in front of people and getting even that book in front of people so that people know it's also sharing knowledge. Every time we're in a book, that's helping build that know, like, and trust. It's the know piece. So that people can get to, well, it's really part of the trust piece. They can get to know you and know what you know so that they can trust that you know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you shared that because I'm reading a book right now, Why the Rich Are Getting Richer from 
uh, Robert Kiyosaki. And inside the book, he references where I can go for resources that support the book I'm reading. And so he has a page for that, right? So in your book, there's Ooh. always somewhere that you're leading people to go yes. support the resources in the book so they can do more with you, do get deeper into the knowledge of what they're reading in the book. So Lori, if there are authors out there, they need pages, right? They So yes. those, those are easy, can be built very easily. Uh, Lori can set those up. Google my business page. If you don't know how to get that set up, DM Lori, reach out to her on LinkedIn. And she's also giving away um, a free gift for you. You just go to bizbolster.com forward slash gift for you. And she's going to take $15, $50 off as a Christmas gift for all of you. <laughs> Happy holidays. You get a $50 <laughs> gift card at bizbolster to spend it however you would like. And then what is the last thing you'd like to share, Lori, before we exit today's spotlight for you? You know, I just want to encourage everyone to be aware of your website have your website be something that truly represents you. And then let's also make sure that your website is, is built to the standards to be seen by Google when someone's doing searches. It's all, you know, at the end of the day, it all comes down to being seen. And I want to help you be seen. And that is what the Leap community does for all women out there that are entrepreneurs. If you're looking for a place to be able to be seen, be heard, and be visible like never before, 2024 is your year. We've had about 25 members join just in the past few weeks. I'm telling you, it's going to be an amazing year. So many more women for you to collaborate with that can deposit into your social capital. So to all of you out there, thank you for joining our spotlight today. I want to thank Lori for being here and being a valuable member of the Leap community. Lori, thank you so much. And to all of you, go crush it in business this week. And don't forget, be you and be strong. Until next time, bye-bye for now.